Hello everyone and welcome back to Tour de Abandon episode number four. As always, before watching this episode, make sure you watch all three episodes in my channel as we've already run through seven stages which 59 riders have already abandoned this tour and now we have a really special episode. It's only going to be two stages so I get to cover more of the action but the eighth stage is a shortened Paris Roubaix, cut out the flat bit, only cobbles, deadly as hell, and then following it is none other than stage nine, which is the Strade Bianche with the cobbled version. So I expect a deadly episode here. And if you look at the favorites list, you can see that we've got so many abandons of good cobble riders, such as Asgreen, Van Aert, Van der Poel, that Valverde even comes up as a favorite nowadays. So let's see what's this going to be and it's time for the button 3D race. Our peloton is ready near Saint-Python, not Paris this time, Saint-Python near Trois-Wheel as we are starting this 190 km of madness as we have breakaway attempts already. Again we've seen breakaways win a lot of stages since the peloton likes to take it easy and there are not many teammates to help the leader teams as Tony Martin also goes for an attack as Stefan Kung uh, will be probably seeing a big breakaway as always as we see Chris Hamilton also attacking ninth place in the young rider standings but 26 minutes down on that category as well well a quick reminder of the GC Sylvain Dillier has a 20 minute lead so it's it's going to be interesting how long he's going to be able to keep his yellow jersey. But other than that, let... Oh! I forgot one thing. It's raining today. It is actually raining today. I've not scripted this in any way at all. And the first launch, uh, we have a rainy day, which is... Well, which is definitely going to increase the number of abandons today. That's for sure. Oh, we have a crash already. I was going pretty slow as well, but it happened behind. There's a 21-man crash, but no casualties. It's just a, it's just a crash, but it's too early to go out in this stage, guys. Come on. We have plenty of cobble sectors to go. Let's look, actually look at the number of it. We have 28 cobble sectors starting with Trois-Wheel Vizely, which is five stars. Madness. We have another crash. This time it is 12 guys are down, but again, no casualties. Uh, we've yet to reach the cobble sectors. Now we are starting as the breakaway. Oh, who do I see in the breakaway? It's Sean Bennett, now 96th, and already struggling at the front. But oh, there's a crash at the breakaway. There is a crash in the breakaway. And it was Gogol, Halle, Kung, Martin, and Ruch that were down, and the Pelotoner. Is entering the first sector currently no abandons fortunately for them and there's a crash in the peloton just at the start so you also have a puncture for Arcas uh, let's see if there is Paulus back up already um, Matthews gets a puncture everyone continues all good currently but there's another crash oh in the peloton and it's a big one it is a really big one. Froome is down, Sagan is down, Bargil, Fuglsang, Pauls. Is there another crash somewhere behind? Yes. Oh my. Oh, what, what is happening? Oh, guys. Guys. What is happening? I can't keep up with this. I didn't think it was going to be like this already. Come on. Seriously? Do you have any abandons? Chris Froome is out. Froome is out. He was third in GC and he's out. Matthews is out. Laporte is out, Jonas Rickard is also out and we have a lot of struggling riders already that the pace is definitely not going to be high today, that is for sure. Uh, let's look at the peloton and they are, oh there's a group with, okay that's Bargil is here but front group Pogacar is currently hanging on to everything really well. Dillier as well, the front of the group, really nice from him. And we have the breakaway that is about well, like five minutes up, four minutes up. But yeah, already some carnage with 157 kilometers to go. 
Crash behind, it's in A15. Guarnieri, Castroviejo, uh, Della Parte, and Jimmy Cabo. Castroviejo, is he getting back up? Yes, he is. Not many abandons, but uh, kind of feel for them already. Look at this, how scattered the groups are. And there's a crash in the breakaway. Rick Sable is down. And he's able to continue, so that's good. Oh, crash right in front of me. I was oh, there's two crashes as well, and it is a big one 33 in total currently. And just coming to this corner, uh, we might have strugglers like Fliegen was down, Dan Martin. I see Grizzle, and we do have an abandon which is in the car. Glaman Russo abandons, and there's a crash in front. Oh, there's a big there's a crash in front. It's Dillier, it's the yellow jersey curse continues at least he is able to continue the race in a in a large group so that's not bad as we see Pogacar now back in the front peloton which is only 20 currently with 128 kilometers to go and crash behind at A8 it's Teo Gegenhardt is Aguirre Soler Tonison is also down and we have three abandons. So let no, never mind. Well, they, they got me there. They got me there. Nice, nice play. Nice play. And crash behind. It's Pierre Roland who crashed, and he's actually a big group of riders. Nine riders down. And Pierre Roland abandons. That's someone from my control team gone. So no Pierre Roland. For the mountains, it seems. Uh, looking at the race situation, we have Pogacar struggling to keep up with the peloton, but at least he's still very close to it. 42 man group. Uh, as we already have some people nearly half an hour down, down with half the race still to go. Alaphilippe comfortable in the peloton. There's a crash in the breakaway. It's Jasper de Boost just passing him. And this 19th sector is complete. Now it's time for the Aremberg Forest. Riders are entering the Aremberg Forest. You can see the breakaway in distance. Only two minutes is the, the gap, so nobody's really going too fast here. Uh, the 36 man peloton trying to survive here. As we have a crash in the. Oh, through the Aremberg, we have Yasha Suterlin has crashed. Brought. Brought oh Friley down with him as well. Let's see if Friley is okay. As we see Pogachar currently in A7. That's interesting. But Carapaz was there as well. So the GC riders, some of them at least are going when we have a crash. Miguel Angel Lopez is down with Erviti. Oh brings Kosnefra and Madua as well. Erviti does continue. Let's see. If we have Langen is also crashed. Madua crashes. Pogacar. Oh, he survived that one. That was a close call. Um, Langen survives. Os. Uh, we have Sparagli. Carapaz. This corner is a madness. And we have Garcia Cortino. Abandons? Or is it just a puncture? I'm not sure. Is that a puncture? Is that a puncture? No. Oh, we have Jean Martin. A crash as well. Here, Garcia Cortina abandons, I am pretty sure. I'm just going to focus on this corner for a little bit more, but 93 kilometers to go. And we have another... <laughs> I can't even do transactions transitions now. So, seriously, this video is going to be so long, but I'm not sorry. It's a great watch. Crash behind, it's Cataneo again and through the Aramberg. As we have rain, uh, oh, being replaced. We have another crash. It's Castro Viejo is down. This Aremberg Forest section is really, really deadly. Um, Castro Viejo is back up, but Garcia Cortina will abandon the race. There's a crash in A7. It is Omar Fraile down. Um, He's back on his bike. 85k to go. Pogachar in this A7 group with Paulus. 
Gadoos at a6, Demar at a5, and the Peloton. Uh, still, Dillier is here, so good, good for him currently. 24-man group, though. We still have plenty of cobbles to go before entering the Roubaix Velodrome. We have glimpses of struggle from the yellow jersey as Krastriviejo goes down again and he brings Fuglsang with him, Dillier. Look at this group, they're going so strong. Geraint Thomas, Alaphilippe, Benut, Valverde, Melier. This is the strongest of them all. We have two crashes first, also we have Erviti. And then we had Castroviejo, which I don't know where, so I'm going to be missing that one, but we'll see if he abandons later in the race. The leader of the race, Stefan Kung, enters Mons and Pevel section with 54 kilometers to go. One of the deadliest here as well as the peloton, two and a half minutes down, is now going to enter, but the pace has slowed down a little bit. Let's see if we're going to see any attacks here. Maybe Alaphilippe wants to try or they're just going to go at a steady pace, which is understandable. But you don't really also want to group to avoid mass crashes. Gogol crashes. Let's Gogol down. Um, an A3, I think. Where's Gogol? I don't know. I missed him. But yeah, Gogol's back up in his bike. But no problems currently. We have Benut with a puncture. Uh, Dillier struggles. The Peloton is 13, but there's no one that wants to work. So they're going to be back. Probably we're going to have like a 25 man group, probably at the end because they're not, no one's really want to pace and Stefan Kung is on his way to a Paris-Roubaix victory most likely there's 47 kilometers to go a bit of flat section before the last cobbles everything is looking good for him two crashes behind as we have Thomas de Hent down uh, Latour was down as well he was 90 GC well he's nowhere near there well Stefan Kung has increased his gap to 7 minutes as no one is currently taking a relay at the front now here's car for the lab are we gonna see any crashes here a lot of tight corners but the pace is slow so yeah this peloton is currently going at a steady pace while we see some kind of increase from nasen but it's too late it's too late to make a difference currently so the yellow jersey still at the back of the group Dillier doing a doing a good job uh, as we see gap with Kung like increasing and decreasing as the pace goes down again looking at the group though now we have an attack from Nathan and the peloton is pacing the trek doesn't want to let him go which can make a difference at the back maybe all these tight corners about well, Paul's crashes but currently the pace increased, so I don't really want to miss anything on the peloton. And there's a crash! And there's a crash! This is the crash that I was afraid of. Fliegen, Meliisch, Kampenart, Fuglsang is down. Are we going to see any abandons? No, thankfully not. Well, for them. But the group is now... Yeah, the group, the, the tempo has increased. But again, the front group stops. Alaphilippe, Fanal, Mark Valverde, and Benu, Peter Sagan bridges up here, as well as Thomas and Simon Clark. Uh, so this is the favourites group, while we see the entrance to the velodrome for Stefan Kuhn, who's going to be winning this stage. Three minutes back is Nazan, and we have an attack by Peter Sagan coming in to the roundabout. Let's see if he's going to get any counter-attacks. Peter Sagan doesn't go in a high pace at all. Behind them we have the Hirschi group. It's Cyril Lemoine. What a job he's done today. Um, well, last kilometers. And now we're going to be staying at this camera angle for a little bit. As we are waiting on Stefan Kung. Who, where is he? I don't know, but this is the peloton. And here is Stefan Kunk. He is going to win the Paris Roubaix in some style. As we see all the groups coming behind. Now it's the Vanavamark group. 
that we are waiting but you can see um, the time gap is one hour so we definitely have some abandons for sure uh, who's going to be second placed so is it going to be oh there's a sprint here there's a sprint is it going to be Valverde is it going to be Sagan Valverde or oh, Peter Sagan Oliver Nason of course came in for second and Sagan comes in third well where is the yellow jersey the yellow jersey is here and the next question is of course where is our man Tade Pogacar who is still nine kilometers to go for Pogacar so he is the loser of the day for sure Quintana I can see here as well but yeah a lot of riders coming into the finish line now we'll go we'll fast forward nearly 50 minutes and see who will not make the time cut today well currently three minutes to go Wingergaard in the last kilometer with Robert Racing they are going to be able to make it to the time gap just I am saying just by a minute and I think after here is going to be our non finishes Cataneo oh actually Cataneo is going to be close Cataneo is oh I think just makes it three seconds and Caleb Ewan is out. We have Harry Sweeney, Christian Rodriguez, uh, Cyril Gauthier, oh Ben O'Connor the KOM jersey, Bruno Armirail, Anthony Perez, Omar Goldstein and finally Maxim Chevalier are out of the time limit. Let's go to the results page to see the time gaps of this carnage. It is a win for Stefan Kung in Paris-Roubaix from the breakaway and what an effort. Just 1 minute 35 ahead of Oliver Nays. And then we had the, the group of six, which we see Peter Sagan, Greg Finalman, Alejandro Valverde, Simon Clark and Garen Thomas. They'll be taking a lot of time on their rivals. Alaphilippe and, and Mark Hirsch, he came four minutes down. And uh, looking at some potential GC riders, Jakob Fuglsang, seven minutes down. Uh, Spauke Mollema was here as well. Uh, Rambo Kelderman, 15 minutes down. Uh, I'm trying to not miss anyone. Naira Quintana, 18 minutes down. Pogacar, 20 minutes down. Miguel Angel Lopez, 23 minutes down. And Carapaz, 27 minutes down. Let's look at the abandons. Oh, oh, mad. Oh, no. We went through the outer time limits, but we did miss some crashes, maybe. Michael Matthews, Clement Russo, Ivan Garcia Cortina, Chris Froome, Christophe Laporte, Pierre Roland, and Jonas Ricard abandons. I don't know what the list is. I think this is 16 in total. I think it is 16 in th total. Well, deadly, deadly stage indeed, which means we have 109 riders left in the peloton. But props to them because. They've made it through the toughest stage of this race. So the toughest stage of Tour de Abandon is now completed for them. And now it's time to look at the general classification. Sylvain Dillier still leads by 17 minutes. Simon Clark moves up to third. Fogelsang also pretty comfortably uh, in front of the top 10, which is a fourth place for the Dane. As we see Valverde now 11th, uh, Mark Hirschi. 16th uh, the sprint classification or oh, oh, still uh, is led by Sylvain Dillier Kuhn gets his, his first points for them KOM is the same but Sean Bennett now takes it as Ben O'Connor is now abandoned and the, the youth stays in Nielsen Powell stays in was it someone else not sure the team is now Bahrain victorious as Jumbo Wisma the, the currently last with Maybe four riders. So, well, what stage it was. Now it's time to go to stage nine, the Strade Bianche cobbled variant. Here is the profile. I can't wait to race this, guys. Well, here we are on the way in the Strade Bianche, 185 kilometers. But don't expect many abandons today. I expect a breakaway to go for the stage win and Pelton to have a pretty steady pace and nothing special obviously some downhill sections so there might be crashes of course 
and I'll be updating you guys with everything that's happening today. Well, here is our breakaway. Thomas De Hen, Terada, Konovalovas, Latour, Halle, Oss, Hamilton, Paulus, Martin, Jan Jürmachter and Valentin Mudwa. As we have an attack on the peloton by Woods. Well, where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there he is. Oh, we have some interesting attacks with Hirschin Woods going. And the peloton is not reacting. Maybe that could be also for the stage push. But the 94-man peloton... Yeah, they don't they, they they don't care today. All of them are trying to survive at the moment and Dillier seems to be a lucky boy. Well oh, there's a crash in the Peloton, I've missed it. Um Vatkoch, Donovan, McClay, they're all up, but Kenny Elisont isn't. That's race over for him. Um well we have one hundred and twenty nine kilometers and the the stretched Peloton is not really pacing and we have a 15 man group up front uh, with 128 kilometers to go. Oh big one, big big crash, big crash here and Aramburu Krog Anderson, let's see, oh Dillier, Dillier is down, Dillier the yellow jersey is down but we do not have any abandons, uh, Sean Bennett was also down, Stefan Kung the winner of last stage is here. Uh, we have a 35 man, uh, that's basically the peloton, they're going pretty slow at 40 kilometers per hour and look at them charging through the field is the crashes Fliegen and Dillier, the first and second in GC, are making their way back to the peloton, oh we have another crash, oh it's Kung down Dillier, Oliver Nason, Soren Krag Andersen, Steuven, Demar, do we have any abandons? Dillier continues. Kung abandons. Stefan Kung, the winner of the Paris-Bay, is abandoned with 111 kilometers to go in this stage. And Dillier now has some work uh, needed to get back to the peloton. Oh, big one. And I was going fast forward, so that is my bad. But 26 riders have crashed, including Loic Fliegen and Perstelberger, Rick Zabel, Dan McClay abandons, Cavendish is down with Buckelance, they continue but we have three abandons more. Oh there's a crash, Ooh, right in downhill, there's a crash, Micah, Greipel, Kelderman and Tonison are down with 25 with some more riders. In behind and Micah, are they going to continue? Yes they are, I'm not, I'm not falling for that again, I'm not falling for that again, Casing and Izagire also continue. As we have 24 kilometers to go and we're going to be concentrating on the breakaway soon if there are not any more crashes in the peloton and they, it's, one of the, it's going to be one of these 10 who will win the stage. Oh there we go, attacks at the front, it's Daniel Oss and Nielsen Powers with the first attacks but the group is relaying nicely behind, it's uh, Around about three and a half minutes with 15 kilometers to go, so it's sure. And Madua seemed to be done for the day. Well, what a view that is! We can see the Siena Church in the background as we see Thomas de Hent making his move. And is he going to be able to drop this group? Well, um, it's a tough, it's a tough ask if they're working together. Uh, we have Kosnifrau with 79 hill and Hirschi with also 79 hill. They are the favourites. 11 kilometres to go. 7 kilometres to go. And Thomas de Hent is now caught. Um, let's see who will be making that first move into Piazza del Campo. 5.6 to go. Game of Catamouse is being played as we have a crash behind. So we have to look at that because it's a big one. Don't know how big, but a few riders are involved. Uh, let's see, we do we have any abandons? Well, Thomas de Hent also attacks. We do have an abandon. It's Jasper. No. Pierre-Luc Perrichon abandons. And now we go into the front as Thomas de Hent makes the attack with two kilometers to go. Uh, is he going to see any responses? As we look at the chase cam. Oh, Thomas de Hent goes for the attack. It's a very strong one. Is he going to be able to keep up with the pace? Mark Hirsch in Hamilton also strong favourites, but now 500 metres with the right hand turn. Thomas De Hent 
Oh, last 200 meters. He celebrates as he will win. This attacking spirit gives him a victory at the Tour de Abandon. As now we look at the peloton, eight minutes down. Uh, wow, what a race for the breakaway. Well, it was Thomas de Hent who took the stage here in Siena for the Strade Bianca victory. Nice ride through him. The peloton is around eight minutes down. And looking at our withdrawals, there were six today Dan McClay, Kenny Elson, Rick Zabel, Stefan Kung, Pierre Luc Perrichon, and Lucas Pustbege, which leaves us with 103 riders for the second week of the tour. Well, it's time to look at our overview screen now as we had stages 8 and 9 completed in this episode. Stefan Kung and Thomas de Hent are the stage winners. We had six more abandons in Strade Bianche. Uh, Sylvain Dillier leads the yellow jersey and green jersey. Pocket jersey is still in Sean Bennett. White jersey, Nielsen Palace and the team in Bahrain Victorious. And that will wrap up today's episode 4 of Tour de Banden. Stay tuned for a state episode 5 as we have two mountain stages with the Cortina de Ampezzo downhill finish in Lombardia and then ending it up with a sprinty Milano Sanremo. But for now, my name is Emre99 and it's a goodbye from me. See you soon.